this is a name that also is synonymous with the Padres is Will Myers. So Will Myers is also a free agent. I mean, he's a right-handed bat. He was last year, he put up a one, two point war. I mean, he's been talked about getting traded for a long time. OPS plus over one Oh eight with his, with the Padres. And so this is a guy who can play multiple positions. He has been primarily, I believe he's been using the outfield, but he last year, Played, he caught. I remember he was, he pitched at one point too, but um, not as much. He pitched not as much as Cody Clemens, but he could play all. He played the center field, play right field. He could play first base, and so you like that ability to have that versatility at first base because we were we've been talking about Spencer Trokelson, and they're going to need a backup for that. But that being said, what do you guys think about Will Myers? I I I think I'm a fan because I think we need a right-handed bat, and I don't think he's going to cost you a whole lot. You could probably get him on a one-year deal, and just looking at his numbers, he's he's been really consistent over these last you know out throughout his career, like 2016 797 OPS, 2017 792 OPS, 2018 764 OPS. He's really been around you know that range, 750 to 800 OPS every single year, and. um like I said, I think he fills a lot of needs for this team in terms of he could play first base if Torkelson's struggling. Uh, you could platoon him in the outfield with all the lefty bats that you have. And, you know, like I said, if it's a, if you could get him on a one-year cheap deal, I, I would be definitely in for that. Yeah, for me, it, it, he just kind of uh, yeah. it depends on how willing he is to be a platoon player. If, he, mm-hmm. if he's willing to come in and, you know, play 60 games and hit only against lefties, then I think, uh, yeah, he, he would be very effective in that role. I think he's got a, a pretty good career numbers against lefties. It just he's not much of uh, just kind of blah and average against right-handed pitching. Um, but we we know that that Harris from his days at the Giants, they really did a good job of platooning guys. And if he's amenable to that, I think what to John's point, yeah, that there's a lot of things that would make him fit. You know, that the lefty heavy outfield, he could play. At least yeah. both corners. I don't think he's a viable center center fielder. Yeah. Can he play third? I don't think he play play third, but he oh, can play okay. the corner outfield. I mean, mm-hmm. and then yeah, he can play some first base. So there's some versatility there, and it's the right handed bat. It's just, you know, he's not a huge power guy. He's got some pop, and he can get on base decently. He had a rough year last year with injuries and, and performance, so maybe you can bet on a bounce back, maybe. But again, like, I'm not giving that guy more than like you know, 8 million for one year. So it depends on what he's looking for. Yeah. I, well, you'll never really catch me complaining too much about a one year contract. Very, very seldom. I mean, I imagine I have it at points over the years, but uh, he'd be a fine enough player. Uh, in a, it, as long as it's part of a role that he's in and he's not being given a full-time position. And as long as he's not the marquee signing of the winter, uh, if he's you know being brought in for a certain role, that, that makes perfect sense to me. Of course, my mind always says if he's going to accept a role like that, then uh, I would try to find a contender who wants to give me a role uh, before I went to the Tigers. But, um, you know, he may not have that opportunity. You know, he's been said to be on the market for a long time. Every year via trade, he never moves on so San Diego. So the, the demand might not be that high. Well, that was probably because of the contract he was on. Well, sure. Yeah. But still, if they wanted to, if they wanted the bat bad enough, somebody would have eaten the money, though.